Um, my name is Alicia Boyd, and I'm from Brooklyn. <clears throat> and I live actually on the perimeter of Causeway Park and the Botanical Gardens. And the community that I come from is predominantly an African American community. A large uh, Caribbean population resides there. We are the own, we, are, we call ourselves the black side of the park because the other two sides are basically white upper middle class uh, park slopes and Windsor Terrace. For the last couple of years, we've been under attack, um, our particular community, because it has been uh, targeted for gentrification for views, not um, water views, but park views and garden views. Uh, our local politicians and real estate development has decided that that area was prime property for development and basically, um, what we've done is we've created tremendous struggle um, to stop that uh, uh, rezoning. You know, we all heard about all the different types of rezonings that are happening. And um, we are the only community in New York City that has been able to stop a rezoning. Yes, I would like to hear that. That's right. And, and that is... And that is not an easy feat at all because the Department of City Planning is extremely powerful in New York City. And basically whatever area they put their minds to, they get their results. But you know, it has been a struggle. We um, filed, I think we got like, we filed almost 10 lawsuits. Um, and we fought and we've got arrested and I've gotten arrested. And um, you know, we waged a good fight. Um, how I got to know about Occupy Museum is that um, I'm also a part of BAN, the Brooklyn Anti-Gentrification Network, and that is a coalition of community groups that are fighting gentrification in Brooklyn and all different parts and doing well, magnificent things and in a lot of different ways. And um, it, we, we always come up with the dilemma that our public institutions are supposed to be representing the people. And yet we know that a lot of the founders or a lot of the money that comes to these public institutions, especially the museums, are really real estate money. And so there's a constant conflict between the museum being able to truly represent the needs of the community and express those needs and, and say all the one and do all the wonderful things that I just heard somebody talk about. But then in reality, how does that actually happen? <clears throat> and most of the time it doesn't. Um, and so the Booker Museum um, was deciding to host a real estate summit and they wanted to, and they hosted it, they hosted a real estate summit and basically it was just about, okay, what part of Booker should we gentrify and buy and develop and that was really what the real estate summit was about and, and of course we fought back and, um, and then we came up with some kind of preliminary agreement that the museum, the Booker Museum would, would uh, give us an opportunity a day in which we could express our point of view. And then somewhere along the line, the museum tried to back out, <coughs> take control of the program, and that's when Occupy Museum came in and helped us. And uh, we were able to go back into the museum to a protest inside the museum. And that really scared the shit out of them. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so they came back and decided to allow us to have that day of where we did some magnificent programming around gentrification and really from a grassroots um, position. My organization is MTOP, the Movement to Protect the People. We get absolutely no funding from anybody because that's how we stay pure and clean. Um, and uh, it, we've been struggling. We're still struggling. Right now, uh, the, the, the Botanical Gardens is now in a similar situation. The Botanical Gardens has one side of the garden is off on Washington Avenue from Eastern Parkway all the way down to Empire. And in 1991, the Friends of Botanical Gardens went to the city planning and said, you know, we're not protected. Give us some height limits here. And this is before all the height limit issue came. This was actually at the beginning when a lot of upper white middle class communities knew what was on the horizon. And so the Botanical Gardens and their friends protected two long strips all along the Botanical Gardens. 
they had zones for R, they call them R8A and R6A. And that was 12 and six to 12 stories, height limits, whereas before there were no height limits on that and you could get really tall towers. And they were concerned, obviously, because tall towers could impede upon the garden itself. You know, gardens require a certain amount of sunlight and shade, and you know, that's how they configured the entire structure. And so this very long strip, about a half mile, was protected in 1991 by the Friends of the Garden. However, 20 years later, there's a new people at the helm of the Botanical Gardens. And all of a sudden now we got developers who have decided that they want to override those height restrictions. And, you know, the MIH program, if most of you may not know, was um, done last year by the city council. Uh, and they got paid. Okay, they got paid for it. And, and so this MIH program, what it does is it allows you to go into height limit restricted areas and ask for rezonings. So we now have on the table a developer who wants to go in and build a 20-story tower on a six-story height limit zone. And guess who's responsible for okaying that? One person, our city council person, Lori Cumbo. And this is now what we're facing. We're no longer facing large rezonings, we're now going to be facing small rezonings, what they call spot rezonings, where each one of our council people will be responsible for whether we get heights or whether we don't. So our height limits are really out of the window. So please pay attention to your council person. Make sure that they're on board with you. Make sure that they are supporting you because we're about to get rid of Lori Combo. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Um, we are trying to get donations, so if you want to give a donation, I'm in the back. Um, I have t-shirts if you want to give a donation for a t-shirt. Okay. <laughs> Just advertising. And thank you so much.